Let's take a look at the trusty Timex Iron Man. This is in 2012. Look where we are. That's right, we are at the Assateg Lighthouse. You can see up there through the tree, but that's not what we're here to look at today. Today I'm going to show you what I rented here on Chincoteag Island. This right here is called a Scoot Coop. If I can find the key for it, I will yeah, I got it. I will show you some stuff about it. This is the 50cc version. And as you can tell, it's pretty well used. There goes one right there. But for $80 a day, this is the cheapest rental of these on the island. Look at that damage right there. Now anyway, I'm going to show you some of the features of the Scoot Cube. It's supposed to have a windshield. As you can tell, it's missing. Mirrors are securely fastened with a zip tie. And look at these seats. These are the seats. And what's left of the backrest. This thing does have a neat little trunk. Turn the key. Here goes some more. There's the battery for starting it. There's the fuel tank which I'll try to show you. It's got a locking gas cap, just like my Vino. And in there, you can see the gasoline. Like I said, it's got a nice little trunk. It's got a 50cc motor. It does, this version does not have a kickstart, but I'll tell you the best thing about the scooter this scooter was made right here in the United States of America, according to their website. The newer ones do have the Kickstarter. There's the brake lights. It's got disc brakes. Now, if you put the key in and turn the ignition on, the lights will come on. You're not going to see this in the daytime. This has a blue LED lit speedometer. And this is the headlights. And once all these cars go by and it gets quiet, I'm going to start it up for you all so you can hear it start. Let me get in the scooter. There's your instrument cluster. High beam, low beam. Turn signal. Horn. Engine kill switch. And here in just a second we're going to start it because it's quieting down. Once that Jeep goes by, we're going to go and start it so you can hear it start. All right, now listen to this, here it goes. Here's your tachometer. It's a four stroke. Oh, I forgot to show you the glove box. It's not much to look at, but it does have a glove box. And now, I'm gonna let Nick get in here after I show you. Look at this mirror. Push it back? Uh, yeah. I'm going to show you reverse here. Watch this. Yeah, push it back. See, it doesn't have reverse. You have to push it back. Okay, that should be good enough. Now we're going to drive from here to McDonald's, which is probably a little less than a mile and a half. And it's not really designed for tall people. Alright, here, take the camera and film. Make sure you're holding it steady and looking through it. Here we go. does get pretty busy.
that was a ride on this rental scooter. And to apply the parking brake, you pull here. Now the parking brake is set, and then you stop the motor. Yes, that will be it. Here's who is filming. That's it. A huge thank you to all of my patrons for your support of Elevate Tours. The video's over, but it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more, and you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.